Hi, everybody. If you're having fun, I am here to ruin that for you. My presentation is about physical security, which we often forget about when we are having fun at a conference. And then I hit the button. Firstly, disclaimer, uh, I'm not accusing any of you of being bad people. That is saved for the people that I am saying are secretly among us. Uh, number two, not calling anyone out. As a matter of fact, I am doing rule number one right now myself. Naughty, naughty. Uh, and number three, if you want to do crimes, Google it. Uh, simple paper badges. Check these out. These are not hard to fake. As a matter of fact, one of the guys that I used to work with led the red team. Uh, he used to have a contest to see how he could get on campus with things that were not badges, and he won with a banana. The truth is, nobody is actually looking at what is around your neck. So again, not the people at the conference I'm worried about, it's the people who are pretending that they should be at the conference. Because let's face it, no matter what Marshall claims, we do not know every single attendee at the conference on site. Laptops. I have been walking around with a Pixel 3 taking photos of people in social situations. I have been saying on the rare event that I have been questioned that I am the conference photographer. While this is true, nobody bothered to back this up. However, one person who I would like to call out for a good job done did ask what I was taking the photos for. Robin, well done. Your suspicion is awesome. Uh, yeah, we just sit there with our laptops fully exposed and hopefully none of us are working on top secret stuff because we're on vacation. We shouldn't be working. Uh, but, you know, how many of us walk away from our laptop to go to the bathroom? Even if someone's not going to go steal all of our top secret codes, your laptop's going to fetch a lot of money on eBay. Now, talking at the conference. Yes, we want to share ideas. We want to talk about all the cool stuff we're working on. Maybe a couple drinks in, we're getting a little comfortable, we're sharing some things that we're not supposed to share. Sure, the person we're talking to is our friend. They've been with us to, like, every conference. Fine. How about the person sitting at the table behind us who's overhearing all of this and maybe came here with their banana badge for exactly this purpose? We need to be careful about who's around us. We need to be careful about what we're talking about in public places that includes at lunch and dinner. Thank you. Uh, public access, Wi-Fi, yay! How many of us actually question what Wi-Fi network we're connecting to? Or how many of us just say, hey, we're gonna just connect to this free Wi-Fi and use it? All right, thanks for the help from the audience. Uh, number one, legit networks. Hey, we see a funny name network, we think we're going to connect to that. Exactly. Not always a good idea. As far as people watching uh, the traffic on that connection, you may think I'm being paranoid, but both myself and Matt Butler are at the same conference, so one of us is running game, I can guarantee it. Public USB ports, just don't. Please, for the love of God, don't. It's like having a Tinder profile and a latex allergy. So I've scared the ever-living poop out of you. You've decided to just stay in your room. How much do you know about the model of lock on your room? Because I can download an app on my phone that certain ones requiring the use of a card printer and some blank key cards will spoof any RFID or NFC key and uh, let me get into your hotel room. Now, why would I want to get into your hotel room? Because y'all leave your electronics and your wallets in full view of your window. So I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna go visit that hotel room later. Hypothetical. I didn't prepare well for this. Uh, so yeah, we don't do this stuff at the office. We know better. But we're on vacation. And there's this fallacy. Nothing bad happens on vacation. That's the whole point of a vacation. False. Uh, so I'm not saying don't trust your friends, don't have friends, stay isolated, and just assume everyone is out to get you, although it works for me. Um, but if you just use your common sense, you stay aware of your surroundings. I think you'll be good. Now, if you all want to vote for me a second time to get uh, extra time, I will start taking suggestions from the audience on possible attack vectors, anything, and I will tell you how I will mess your day up with them. So in, oh man. All right, and anybody want to start throwing suggestions out at me, anybody? A banana? Sure, uh, I'm going to take your banana and I am going to throw it in another direction while you're confused as to why I just threw your banana, I'm gonna steal your wallet. Next. Uh, your wallet. Uh, I mean, come on, that's kinda easy. I mean, you got your credit cards, you got your room keys, you got your photos of your kids, which actually sounds oddly intimidating, I'm so sorry. I'm sure your wife is lovely. Anyone else? 
Any, <laughs> there you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. A shoe. All right, cool. So I noticed that you have a fairly distinctive shoe. So I'm going to take that shoe. I'm going to kill a man, not with the shoe, but separately. I'm going to put the footprint near the body, and then I'm going to blackmail you to pay me in Bitcoin. <laughs> so there, shoe, done. Bam, next. What? What? Oh, okay. I was going to say, please don't put me in that awkward position of making boost jokes. I have so many friends who have libraries in that. Uh, it only takes 10 pounds per square inch of pressure to kill someone with, like, blunt object. Just saying. <laughs> also, I don't have a car, so joke's on you! Anybody else? <sighs> Son, what do you take me for? I'm going to post it on Reddit. Next. Okay, I'm trying to think of how not to make this creepy. <sighs> Let's see, plastic bag. Ooh, a lot of things I could do with a plastic bag. Uh, I'm going to get a cat. I'm going to train the cat to respond to the crinkling of the plastic bag. And when the plastic bag crinkles, steal your wallet. <laughs> this is an excellent point. Stranger in the back, well done. Can I see your phone? No, son. <laughs> Joke's on you, there's no more voting. <laughs> it's okay, I plugged it in your charger so I wouldn't go get it. <laughs> Thanks, Marshall. I completely trust you. By the way, Timmer, Timmer, seriously, you were fine this time, but don't, don't accept USB chargers from me. Just don't. Don't. You're fine. Love you. So yeah, security, uh, be careful, and I'm gonna end this early because I think the joke's kind of getting old, rule of threes and all that. Peace!